Hi hey guys, what's up? This is Game Puncher here, and welcome to a new but late review of Call of Duty Ghosts. All the apologies and all future plans will be explained in the next Outlast video, so let's get back on the review. With Call of Duty Ghosts, you get everything what you expect thrilling moments and emotional parts. The game's main protagonists are the ghosts, a force of US Special Operations personnel trained to conduct missions behind enemy lines. In this game, the story is mostly told through the eyes of one single character, Logan Walker. In your company, there is also David Walker, named Hash, along with a trained German Shepherd, named Riley. The game is set in an alternate timeline that follows the nuclear destruction of the Middle East. The game begins with Elias telling his sons about the legend of how the ghost first appeared. Meanwhile, in space, the Federation hijacked the controlling space station of the Orbital Defense Initiative, named Odin. Later in the game, the United States has fought the Federation to a stalemate, along with the front that comprised the destroyed cities, also known as No Man's Land. Well, enough with the story already. Check this out. A fluid, explosive, devastating tank mission. The best part about this tank mission is that the driving and shooting is fully arcade. There is no 105 buttons to press or something like that. We just have forward, backwards, aim left, aim right, aim up, aim down and fire. Basically, you get airlifted to your destination. There is a little free fall you have to do, then smack in the ground and see the plane, planes roaring above you. The most impressive character of the game is Riley, a German Shepherd attack dog. Riley's movement is much more than realistic. With extra motion capture technology they managed to create what is a perfect dog in the game. You can control Riley with your computer for those little sneaky and stealthy missions. The graphics in Call of Duty Ghosts are not excellent, but actually they are not bad. Well, the game was released on PC, PlayStation 3, uh, Wii U, Xbox 360, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This game won't choke your PC, but my recommendations, you buy a little bit stronger. Recently, the game developers released a patch which brought the minimum system requirements from 64 GB of RAM. If you can't play the game on maximum and if you don't have the money, don't bother. On medium details, the game is also enjoyable and very, very playable. Let's get to the space part. Odin is an orbital superweapon that utilizes kinetic bombardment. It uses it to destroy several cities in southwestern United States. The surviving American astronauts sacrifice themselves to self-destruct the space station and prevent the Odin satellites from launching their payloads further inland. The recreation of the space station and the laser are just epic. Imagine floating around in space where no air, no sound, where actually is nothing, and then get killed. Well, actually, it's a very fun part. Or no, I'm just kidding. Call of Duty Ghost will do exactly what you think it will, and that's as true as if you're a fan or a hater. Just because of the graphics, I can't give it a bigger grade than plus 4. 